Hello everyone. Welcome friends. My name is Arvin and many thanks for joining and subscribing our YouTube channel Arvin Techs. Our teaching technique is very simple and easy to understand. Still, if you find anything that needs to be developed, please do let us know. Without wasting a time, we will start with our today's session, session number one. These all are very important and useful options in Excel. So request you to please concentrate and listen. And if you want, you can create your own note. I heard from my teachers in my time that if you write something, it is as good as listening and reading 10 times. So please listen carefully to this video until last because I don't want you to miss anything. Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel, please do subscribe so that when we upload our next session video, it will automatically get on your YouTube screen. And appreciate if you could share your feedback or queries, any comments. Let's start. Here we have agenda for today's session. We will be learning what is workbook, then worksheet, which is column, which is row, which is cell, name of the cells, then what is range of cells, formula bar, and what is main menu and sub menu. So let's get started. At first, just gist on the uh, current Office versions which uh, Microsoft provides. Microsoft had started their first Office version that is 2.0 in 1988 and the current latest version which we have is 2019. Many of us having Office 2010, 2013, 2016. So if we compare all the office version, their appearance is all the same apart from few changes. At first, you have to install Microsoft Office package on your PC or laptop. This package includes Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Outlook, OneNote, OneDrive and in the latest version, you will be getting Microsoft Teams as well. So to start, just click on the start button and open Microsoft. Microsoft Excel. If you see, there are many predefined templates which has been provided by uh, Microsoft. These are like uh, invoice and accounting related uh, templates and others as well. Please have a look at it. Uh, just click on the blank workbook so you will get the new interface of Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. This is the blank workbook which you will be getting now, which is a actual workbook. So if you see the whole page, including the all upper menu and the sheets which are below. So this whole page is called as workbook. Coming to the second point, that is what is worksheet? The highlighted part consists of rows and column it's called as worksheet basically it is the working area of the sheet is called as worksheet if you can see the below there are three worksheets that is sheet one sheet two and sheet three these three are worksheets we can also rename this sheet just double click on the sheet name i'm renaming it at tab one if you want to change the color of the sheet just you have to right click and select the color or if you want to add the sheet just click on the plus button below you will be getting a number of sheets now what is column you can see the vertical highlighted part so these are called as columns we can see the column names like column a column b column c column d so these are are called as column so if you go at the end up to xfd column you will find the total columns which are there in excel are 16384 now next point row you can see the highlighted horizontal part called as rows means vertical part is called as column and horizontal part is called as rows you can consider this is just like a table with horizontal and vertical rows and columns columns are identified by letters a b c while rows are identified by numbers one two three if you scroll down until the end of the last row so you will find there are total rows in excel are ten lakh forty eight thousand 576 there is too much of space which microsoft gives us to work on the high and large data now coming to the next point that is cell so what is cell so if you can 
see the excel screen highlighted with black border so this is called as cell every worksheet is made up of thousands of rectangles which are called as cells a cell is intersection of a row and a column and if you want to calculate the number of cells you have to multiply with rows and columns so you will get a number of cells each cell has its own name or address based on its position if you can see the current cell name that is d5 so this is the address of that particular cell to calculate the address so we'll take the column name and row number so that will be the name of that particular cell number next point is range of cells a cell range in an excel file is a collection of selected cell this range is usually symmetrical square but can exist of separate cells a cell range can be referred to in formula as well we'll see that in detail in coming session a cell range can be defined the starting number of the cell and the ending number of the cell like in selected cell it is g3 to 17 but the twist is we ca we cannot define as g3 to 17 it has a separate way to define it for example if we take a1 to h13 we will not define as a1 to h13 we will define as a1 semicolon h13 that would be the range of that particular cell in the selected as well we can define as for example g2 semicolon g6 so it is the range of that particular cell we can also change the range name by uh, giving uh, the name to that particular range like if we give a selected range as range 1 and if we select that range automatically that selected cells will will get selected now coming to the next point that is formula bar excel formula bar is a special toolbar at the top of the excel worksheet in window so it is labeled with the function symbol called fx you can use it to enter a new formula or copying an existing one it is alternatively uh, referred to as formula box the formula bar is a section in microsoft excel and other spreadsheet application it shows the contents of the current cell and allows you to create and view formula you can see the example so on the screen you can see the sum of this two number if we check the cell name for that particular cell we will be using sum calculate 12 plus 18 so that is all comes around 13 so it it is showing in the cell the total is 30 but if you want to see the formula just click on f2 you will be able to see that and also you can check in formula bar so there are two ways to define formulas one is you can directly put is equal to sign or you can put plus sign now next point next point is what is menu bar so if you can see the upper options like file home insert page layout formulas data review and view so this is called as main menu and below that you can see the page layout and after clicking on the home button you, you will be see the alignment option then bold italic underline option so these are called as sub menu if we click on the other menu buttons you will find that all menu buttons has its sub menu we have covered all the options from our agenda today so these are all basic options of the excel which we will be learning in future sessions in detail as well if you haven't learned this before i think 
you have learned something new today or one who already familiar with this options as we are starting from zero i have to cover up this all the basic things and steadily we will be learning many more topics that's all for today if you really like the video hit the thumbs up button and please do subscribe to get uh, the new updates and share your comments. So this is Arvind Lard signing off. Keep learning and keep growing with Arvind Techs. Thank you and take care.